Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, I've had a few na a few questions concerning the name Hudson Valley um, and what it is for some, because they wondered what that name was and where it comes from. And also for some, it's like, well, Hudson Valley then was never to be Windows 12. And here's the answers to these few questions. So Hudson Valley is a code name for the next version of Windows that they often refer to as vNext, or next version, if you want. So we've started here on the Insider Rings getting 24H2 in the version. So you can see here that my Canary version is at 24H2, so that means we're starting the process of testing out what's coming up later this year. What uh, is Hudson Valley. Hudson Valley is a code name. Microsoft always gives code names for every future versions of Windows and pretty much every project. Even Microsoft Office will have code names before they arrive. And the next code name was Hudson Valley. And so Hudson Valley, when they do a code name, is not tied to a specific version of Windows. It's tied to what's coming next. So that means Hudson Valley could have been Windows 12. As now we know, it's going to be a major Windows 11 24H2 update. So it's just a code name as they're working on it. And what will come out, what will be the version, what will be the name, it is not necessarily something that is known at the time that the code name is started. We just know it's the next version. So Hudson Valley, yes, maybe for a while, internally at Microsoft, was Windows 12, or whatever other name they could have given it. And they changed their minds, and they're like, well, no, no Windows 12 this year. We're going to be having a good, big version of Windows, which is called 24H2 for Windows 11. And so that code name with all the features and all the things that we're working on is applied to that simply. So a code name does not mean a new version of Windows entirely. It could be just a big update or a next update. So after Hudson Valley, there will be other code names for, you know, 25H2 or maybe Windows 12 in 2025 or who knows. And uh, so that's that's the way it works. It's simply a code name. Microsoft had tons of code names uh, over the years on every version of Windows. And that's what they actually call their versions internally while they're working on it to bring out at some point uh, uh, in time. So the next version of Windows, which is the Hudson Valley code name, is next, um, you know, by the end of this year, and will be 24H2. Um, once again, the timeline that we have, or the time frame we have for now is somewhere in May or June, given to the uh, OEMs, or equipment manufacturers, to test. September, October, uh, possibility of, um, you know, release. And for the last question that I also had about this 24H2, when can I buy a PC that would have 24H2 on it? Well, technically, by the holiday season this year, there should be some PCs that will start to have 24H2. Problem is, a lot of the PCs, when you start talking about the new version of Windows, um, they have two ways of referring to this. They have two ways of advertising it. It could be that you're going to go and buy a PC, say, in December, and it will say 24H2 compatible, but not necessarily have 24H2. It might still come with 23H2. The other one will be, if you're careful, there will be PCs slowly coming out with 24H2 pre-installed, but you'll have to check because uh, even at the holiday season this year, most PCs might still be 23H2. Uh, manufacturers are kind of take a long time before you know their systems are upgraded to something new so often there's a delay even if there's a new version like 24h2 sometimes it takes months before the 
the, the PC sold actually come with 24H2 pre-installed. Uh, some just prefer to give the 23H2 because it's true, tried, and tested. They'll put a sticker that it's you know, ready for 24H2, but they'll leave that upgrade process to the user, uh, which is not always the best idea. If you enjoy the videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.